high praise for Sue Minter from the Sierra Club today. I spoke with environmental activists in Montpelier on why they feel so strongly that she should be Vermont's next governor. Vermont's environmental candidate and leader is Sue Minter. On the steps of the State House, environmental activists from the Sierra Club endorsed Vermont's Democratic candidate for governor, Sue Minter. Club President Aaron Mayer says the election is about building on the Green Mountain State's foundation as a solar and wind energy leader. Vermont is proving that being clean and green does not cost the taxpayers, does not increase your rate or utility bills, but at the same token it puts Vermonters to work. Special guest speaker Bill McKibben says Minter understands the need for more environmentally focused policies and that she'd keep green energy in mind when thinking about jobs and the economy. We're faced with a real challenge. Sue Minter is capable of standing up to that real challenge. McKibben added that he doesn't care for how Minter's Republican opponent, Vermont's Lieutenant Governor Phil Scott, is being financed. The most prominent people in Vermont this month are not Ben and Jerry, they're Charles and David Koch. That's who's pouring money by the bucketful into this election through the Republican Governors Association. The Scott campaign says they have not received any direct support from the Koch brothers or the Republican Governors Association. The Scott campaign released a statement that reads, in part, Phil looks forward to working with the Sierra Club if he is elected governor to find ways to reduce Vermont's carbon footprint and achieve our renewable energy goals through an approach that Vermonters can afford. But to Bill McKibben, voting for Scott could mean leaving the planet on the back burner. We just back off and go back to doing the way things used to. Uh, you know, Vermont is not going to be the Vermont we've known. Now, Minter was originally planning to be there for the endorsement, but her campaign says she was attending the funeral of one of the teens killed in last Sunday's wrong way car crash. Live in the newsroom, Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News.